Welcome to the Writer's Way podcast, where we celebrate writers who have completed their books and inspire writers who haven't. Join Lori and her guests as they talk about writing, books, and life in between chapters. Hello, everybody. It's Lori at the Writer's Way podcast here today with Christy Hamill, who I met almost a year ago or about a year ago, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Welcome. Thank you for doing this with me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So we met at, so your sister kind of dragged you, right? To a course that I did, like <laughs> she, a, a real life she course. She did, she did. Yeah, it was, a, it was a girls' night we were having, and she was like, well, why don't you come with me to this course? And, you know, this author, she's putting it on on how to publish a book. And I thought, well, that kind of sounds fun. Sure, let's go. So off we went to your course, and uh, it was actually, honestly, the best thing I did. So oh, it was great. And now how many books do you have published? I have the three Think For Myself books. I have We Are What We Eat, and I have my original book translated into Spanish, um, and another one at the Illustrator, and another one about to go to the Illustrator. Okay. So, so a few. <laughs> you'll have seven. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. Yes. Yay. That makes me so happy. Thanks. Okay, so let's uh, rewind a little bit. We'll start at the beginning. So tell us, tell everybody like who you are and what your life is like, and we'll go from there. Okay, well, um, as far as my background goes, I, I sort of dabble in a little bit of everything. I've been everything from a flight attendant to a stock Pilates instructor. I've worked in the oil industry, many years in the golf industry. Uh, the last year or so, we've been building our own log house, so you can call me a contractor or a carpenter or whatever you like. Um, I'm a mother of three. I have a two-year-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. Wow. And wow. I have a blog. I have a holistic thinking blog. Very passionate about holistic living, which is where my holistic thinking kids books come from. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you came to the course and you thought, now had you already been thinking, like have you been a writer from way back, like you did the blog, so had you already been thinking kids' books were on the horizon? Not really, no. Um, I, I have to be completely honest and say that I haven't always dreamed of being an author. Um, I definitely never thought I would publish a book. Mm -hmm. But I'm very passionate about a lot of things. I feel like I have a lot to share, and I'm, you know, a passionate mother. And there's a lot I would like to teach my kids, and I think books are a great way to do it. But it was really your course when I went to it, and you made it seem so easy and simple and laid it out so clear. And at the end of that course, you said, in a month, I'm doing a course on how to market your book. And I was like, oh, I want to come to that, too. And you said, well, maybe you might want to write a book first, but you're more than welcome to come. <laughs> and I thought, okay, so that gives me a month. So I went home that night and wrote the first book. And, I mean, I, I had some inspiration and some ideas, but wrote the book, found an illustrator, got some illustrations back and published it so I could come to your marketing course. I love that. And that's how it all began. My favorite story, I think. <laughs> Because you did it. You yeah. Home and you did it. I did it. I did it. Yeah. Was yeah. it as easy I, as I made it sound? <laughs> that part, yes. Right. <laughs> Actually, you, you were completely honest right from the beginning because the marketing is definitely the hard part. Mm -hmm. And that's where everything comes into play. But the actual writing and publishing of the book, it's really, it really isn't that hard. Right. So as long as you have an idea. Yeah. And I think if you're passionate about something, other people will be as well. Yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about where you found your illustrator, and can you give an idea of how much you pay, just because I know people are always um, adding up potential costs. Totally, yeah, and you know what, I, I've i seen how much people can pay, and it's maybe, you know, totally worth it in that, but for myself, uh, being that this was something I was just jumping into and I really wanted to try it and I only had a month to yeah. get yeah. to your course, so I had to do it. <laughs> and I found an illustrator, I looked at a few, but I found them on Fiverr, so a very simple site to go and you can kind of see a little sample of what they do. And I talked to a few different ones and I ended up um, picking Alex. I and he's he was great, and so I sent him a 
pictures and he did it. He had them all back or I sent him what I wanted for pictures. He sent the pictures, the images back um, within 30 days and he charged me just over $130 for the whole book. Wow. So that included a wow. cover and 13 pages. And then did you So it wasn't so much. Oh, no, sorry. my sister did. So oh. my sister, she she is a graphic designer and she's incredible at that stuff mm -hmm. and I'm lucky to have her, but she did. She took the whole book and she put it all together and prettied it up mm -hmm. and could it put it into files ready to just put right on to create space at the time. At the so. time. Did you pay her? Yeah. <laughs> With love. Wow, <laughs> With lots love. of love. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> She's gonna watch us and be like, actually. That's awesome. <laughs> the bill is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be like, you owe me. <laughs> Yeah, especially when the books keep coming, and I'm like, I have another one. <laughs> yeah, because you have lots of ideas. Okay. You just said you have lots to say, lots to share. I do. I have lots to share. So, mm. what have you learned that you would like to share with people watching along the way through this process? What have I learned? Well, like I said, the marketing is definitely the the hardest part. Um, it's I find it to be a, a lot of ups and downs and um, a bit of maybe gambling. <laughs> my, my husband always says that it looks like I'm gambling as I'm sitting there bidding on keywords and <laughs> trying to get things going and he just sort of shakes his head, but it works and it's yeah. fun and yeah, yeah so that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn anything throughout this year? Okay, like backup. So you have seven, five out, seven soon to be out, and in one year. So like, in one year, let's yes. Let's take a minute to pat you on the back because that's incredible. <laughs> um, Thank you. Like I said, I just had to, I had the ideas there already. That's the hard part, right? Yeah. And then just put them on paper. Put them on paper. Get them out. Um, what did yeah. you learn in this past year that surprised you? Was there anything that was surprising? Um, that it works. <laughs> I think, not that I didn't think it would, but at the same time, it, I mean, not having a background uh, in writing, really, I mean, other than my blog, but I, I just didn't think it could work. You hear of all the struggles that authors have and, and all that, but what it really comes down to is the marketing. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the ideas, I mean, you have to have the right ideas that are going to sell, but I yeah. think that that's So talk about the idea. So three of your books, I think for myself books. Yes. So when I came to your course, I was just registering my oldest for kindergarten. And that terrified me because she is so creative and she's so outgoing and a very think outside of the box kind of girl. And I really didn't want her to lose that going to school and just wanting to fit in. And just, I mean, myself, when I was at school, I was such a people pleaser. And I would say like, oh, I like that too, just to fit in, even if I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And so eventually over time, you sort of lose who you are. Mm -hmm. And I wanted her to know that it was, it's okay to think for yourself, make your own decisions, be a little bit different and you can still fit in. Yeah. So that's where the idea came from. And I wrote the first one and she's actually in the book um, and she's the character in the book. And it started selling a little bit and I thought I want to special like focus it a little bit more on school. So that's why I wrote Think for Myself at School. Mm -hmm. And I put my son in that book and it took off. So that's been my big seller. And I think it's because other uh, parents out there maybe feel the same way that I do about school. And so I wrote that one. And then I, I had a book about my daughter and a book about my son, and I figured my little one was going to feel left out. So I thought I should write another one. So I wrote Think for Myself at the Park. And although that one didn't quite take off like the second one, I do think it's my best one out of the three. But I guess that's just me. <laughs> so after practicing on the first two, you feel like your writing maybe sharpened up a little bit or... I think so. And I mean, you get you get reviews too. So um, as much as those bad reviews sometimes aren't fun, you can learn from them. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. you get a little bit more 
insight. And like I said, I mean, the first one, I, I wrote it pretty quick, too. Mm -hmm. Like, the idea was there, but I wrote it quickly. And then as I read over it and read some of the reviews, then it was like, oh, you know what? I On my next one, I should try this. And oh, so I did that. Wow. And then same thing, got some more feedback on it and tweaked it, tweaked to the third one a little bit more. So. so I'm curious what the reviews said that you applied that approved the second one. And I think that might be helpful for people as well starting out. If totally. So um, the first one, it's almost as if it wasn't quite focused enough like like I said my daughter being creative and um, you know making her own decisions she also thinks outside the box so that was in my head when I wrote the first one mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so it wasn't totally consistent you know there's pages where she she just does something um, really creative to get something done you know like she's she's thinking outside the box but it, it didn't quite go with the rest of the book like as far as the consistency so I decided to stick more with like here's a situation and here's what well Kale my son likes and he's Kale so he thinks for himself so I kept it more consistent yeah the latest yeah. review I got was on um, I forgot an apostrophe in a word which totally just I, I missed it and I obviously, I, I haven't used an editor. I am the editor. My yeah. family is the editor. <laughs> so it's amazing how easy it is to miss those little things. So maybe getting some more people to look over the next one before I actually publish it might be a good idea. Oh, okay. And, but you were able to fix that? Yes, you can fix that. So, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Big bonus, yes. Get Jackie to yeah. <laughs> put the apostrophe in. And not Definitely, yeah. Sure. And it's interesting how little things like that, like I think um, I'm pretty easygoing. So if I'm reading a book and there's a spelling, or the newspaper, there's mistakes all the time. So it does right, pull right. me out of the reading a little bit, which people, com you know, like reviewers complain about. If it pulls you out of the reading because right. your brain goes, oh, that's not right, then it detracts right. from the story. But, oh, exactly. you know, you could have 10 editors and, the, you know, it still might get missed just because... It happened. Exactly. So. Yeah, well, in the review, I think that particular review, she had said, you know, it's her kid's favorite book. She reads it to them every night, and but she so just constant. couldn't get over this apostrophe, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> Did you send her a new book? <laughs> I didn't, but I should. I should. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good well, idea. And it's nice, because I don't know about you, but after, I print, after my first one was published, like, I... I don't read my other ones as often to the children. Like, it's weird for me. My husband reads them. And so he right. will point right. out if he has a mistake. But I don't know if you're like that. And if you just sort of publish it and you read it through a couple times and then it's gone, you need people to tell yeah. you if there's a mistake. You really do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Amazon reviews are great for that because people are very honest. <laughs> when they're motivated enough to read a review, yeah. They either love it or hate it, usually. Yeah, totally, totally. Cool. What mm -hmm. does your family think about this? Like, what do your kids think? What does I think, I I think they think it's pretty cool. Like, my, my kids are pretty young still, so they don't think too much about it. They just know they all have a book about them, which is apparently normal. So. <laughs> but they, they think it's pretty good. I went to a preschool and read. They asked me in the local preschool to come and read one of the books. So I did that, and so all of those kids are now in my daughter's class. So that's that's kind of neat too. But and your husband? It's, it's been good. Is your husband supportive and happy? And he is very he is very supportive. Like I said, he thinks I'm gambling a lot of the time, but he <laughs> he does write all the books. He actually wrote a book um, shortly after called Alligator Daddy, and I published it for him. Oh, so it's out there. It doesn't really sell, but it's in the Holistic Thinking Kids Publishing umbrella, and it's a it's a very cute little story. It, Oh. So that, that was kind of fun too. So, so yeah, he's very is, supportive. Is he a creative person? Like that he was motivated to go do that, or was it more like I want to see what's going to happen? Or that's interesting. Uh, he's he's pretty creative. He is a reader. I think he was reading before anybody when he was young. And he, if he could, if he had a, has a day off, he'll sit and he would read all day. So he's big into books. So yeah. that's pretty good. He reads a lot to the kids and. Mm -hmm. 
definitely supportive of books. His mom, mother is a librarian, oh. so. So just kind of in his book, book family. He just had to try. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So time for the super personal question. How much have you made and what is, what's the best thing you've used the money on? Okay. Well, um, you can tell me this me. year. Okay. So this year in royalties, I have brought in just over 32,000. Um, but I have spent over half of that on marketing and advertising okay. for sure. Yeah. Um, and just tweaking with that. So I've sold over 8,000 books, which is 8,000 more than I thought I would sell. So I'm, <laughs> wow, it's coming, it's coming. And I did take about, you know, five months off of doing it all. Like the books, some of my ads are still running, but I, I didn't have internet. So we were, oh. um, camping and whatnot. And so it didn't get a lot of attention for a while there. So I'm hoping this year we can get on a roll and get going with it a little bit more. Okay, so I know what you spent the money on, but share with everybody else what you used it for. All of the money, every last penny has been <laughs> spent and poured into our house. So we built our log house this year. It was an adventure, but um, hopefully, well, we're living in it now, so hopefully the money that's coming in soon we can spend on maybe a little holiday. Something like that. I'd love a picture of the front of the house, and then we can put that up with the podcast. And like, you sure, too, and I will send you one. And build a log house. <laughs> yeah, know. why not? Right? Why not? Why not? I think that's yeah. So I, I was thinking of writing a kids' book about that, actually. <laughs> like going through the process of building a house, or building? Yeah, you know, like all the kids. The kids were here, and we were out, like I said, camping and building the house. And we, my husband, took the trees down and peeled them, and. We did everything, so it was a lot of fun. It was an adventure, and wow. might make for a good book. Yeah, that's really neat. Well, congratulations! Mm. That's I think you've done really, really well, and I'm super proud of you, and super happy you, Jackie dro dragged you, dragged you. I don't think that's true. <laughs> drug you. I am too. <laughs> then drug you. <laughs> I don't know what my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great doing it with her. I do everything with my sister, so we uh, we both publish books, and we we get together and work on them and do all of that together. But and one day maybe nice. she'll come and talk to me on the podcast. <laughs> she might. <laughs> she said she would, but I don't think she likes being on video. I know. We'll get her out there. Yeah. You can, you can drag her for me. Okay. So for any sure. last words of wisdom or advice for people who find themselves in your situation? Just do it. If anyone can do it, I can do it. I have no background in writing and, you know, you just have a passion for for something and a drive to make some extra money, then you yeah. can do it. You can do it. So, it's the beautiful new right. world with, filled with Amazon and all that potential, right? <laughs> that's right. Why not work with it? Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. And, um... Thank How can you. people find you? Let's end with that. How can they find you if they want to look for look for myself books? Um, I have um, my blog, which is holisticthinking.org. Okay. And my books are on there, uh, but they're really just li links to Amazon. Okay. So on Amazon. You can find me on Amazon. They'll find you on Amazon. I like to say Google me because it's fun to say that. Google me. Google me. Who knows what else you'll find, but yeah, yeah. Google me. <laughs> Probably not. Tell people to Google me. Awesome. Okay, so I'll put a link to your books as well. Thank you so much awesome. again. Enjoy your beautiful log house. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Writer's Way podcast. For show notes, links to guests' information, and to learn more about the Writer's Way, check out lauriwriter.com. Until next week, enjoy this chapter of your life.